as a physician, I can tell you that we are not trained. Our training is not such that allows us to understand all the details. We've entered an era of molecular, uh, molecularly designed drugs, clever drugs, targeted therapies, and they are quite often too complicated for the average physician to understand. So we need to ensure and we need to work hard and bring together basic scientists and physicians. But this is only part of the story because if this is to have a meaningful impact on our patients, and this is what we care about, there are many other aspects. So you need to have a team. It's not that drugs are magic pills that patients will take and get well. In particular, in chronic malignancies like CLL, this is a lengthy process. It's also a, a kind of unique disease because patients don't receive treatment upon diagnosis. So there is what psychologists call a cognitive dissonance. They learn that they have, patients learn that they have leukemia, yet the vast majority of patients also learn that they will not require treatment when they are diagnosed with a leukemia. At some stage, they will require treatment. And then, it's again a very complex situation because you need to profile the tumor, you need to assess the patients thoroughly, very thoroughly, for any other medical problems that they might have. And then you have to ensure that the patients collaborate very well with their physician, but also with the nurses, because they will be on prolonged treatment, and many issues may arise. So there has to be a team supporting patients in this process, rather than a single professional.